On October 29, 2024, Russian sources reported the unveiling of a new submersible drone by Yemen's Houthi forces, also known as Ansar Allah, dubbed the al Qaria, a name derived from a Quranic term meaning great calamity or great disaster. This innovative underwater vehicle adds a formidable dimension to the Houthis' arsenal, which already includes ballistic missiles, aerial drones, and explosive surface vessels. The introduction of the al Qaria comes at a time when Houthi operations have effectively disrupted trade routes in the Red Sea raising alarms among maritime stakeholders. The Alcaria is a compact, tube-shaped drone, designed to operate remotely. Footage shared by Houthi Media showcases the drone skimming the water surface before executing precision strikes on stationary target ships. A surface drone boat then follows to deliver the final blow, illustrating a coordinated attack strategy that leverages both underwater and surface capabilities. Equipped with an onboard camera mounted on an extendable rod, the Alcaria surveys its environment by surfacing briefly for visual reconnaissance before submerging again to avoid detection. While initial footage presents the drone in a striking yellow and black color scheme, operational versions are likely to be adapted to blend seamlessly with marine environments, enhancing its stealth. The drone's small size, only a few meters in length, greatly enhances its evasion capabilities, particularly in low visibility or nighttime conditions. This diminutive profile complicates detection efforts, suggesting that advanced sonar systems may be necessary to monitor its movements effectively. Consequently, the Alcaria represents a significant threat to both merchant vessels and warships traversing the increasingly perilous waters of the Red Sea. Analysts have noted striking similarities between the Alcaria and the U.S. Navy's Remus 600 underwater reconnaissance drone, which the Houthis reportedly captured in 2018. The Remus 600, utilized by the U.S. for seabed mapping and mine detection, features a similar bright color scheme and extendable camera setup. However, the Alcaria distinguishes itself with unique design elements, including a specific propeller configuration and a protective housing, indicating that it may have been either modified from the Remus 600 or designed independently, inspired by its U.S. counterpart. The launch of the Alcaria coincided with large-scale military drills conducted by the Houthis, which Yemeni military sources framed as preparations for potential confrontations with Washington and its allies in Yemen. The evolution of Houthi missile and drone capabilities has drawn international scrutiny, particularly following incidents where Houthi missiles narrowly missed major U.S. naval vessels, such as the USS Eisenhower, and prompted defensive measures from the USS Gravely Destroyer. Moreover, the Houthis have demonstrated their capacity to launch coordinated attacks in solidarity with regional conflicts, having previously targeted Israeli interests and disrupted Red Sea trade to exert pressure on Israel and its allies. The introduction of the al Qaria highlights the Houthis' commitment to refining their asymmetric warfare tactics, which pose a growing challenge to maritime security in the region. As the drone's capabilities continue to develop, the implications for commercial shipping and military operations in the Red Sea are significant. The al Qaria represents not just a new weapon but a shift in the operational landscape, underscoring the need for heightened vigilance and adaptive strategies among those navigating these critical waterways. Thank you.